the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Now listen, please look at me. Let me explain to you something. Listen carefully, our viewers around the world, and then you who is here, please, if you are following also online and you are a victim of any kind of addiction, this is your chance to connect. All those people coming from where now? Please, um, if, if, the, if the hall is full, they can just stand where they are or, if, okay, those who are already inside, they can just stand in the straight line there and then others can stand in front of their LEDs. It's the same effect. If not, this place will soon be rowdy. Let's just take it easy. Please protocol be easy with them so that no one... People, you see, these precious people are coming because they are tired. Can I tell you, counseling can only go so far in helping addictions. Drunkenness, masturbation, pornography, every kind of thing. They are spirits. And let me tell you the truth. It is not about being good or bad. It's about being a victim of wicked spirits. These spirits are territorial. I'm sorry to say it, but most of them come from social media. Most of them come from movies that sometimes we just expose our spirits in the name of westernization and we pack all kinds of demonic luggages. You gather 10 people and I can tell you 7 out of every 10 people are suffering addictions. But can I tell you, you came here for a miracle service. Because some of you, let me tell you what happens. Look up, please. Let me teach you how these spirits work. You see, the moment a great door is about to open, that urge comes. And the moment, whether it is drunkenness, whatever, that door is closed forever. Ah, Hallelujah. Hold on. There is, there is one person here, you inject yourself. Who is that? Let me see your hands. Like, I'm seeing a syringe. Now, I don't know if the injection with what, but I don't know if it's inside. Or, don't be afraid. Who is that? I'm seeing something that has to do with a syringe. Who is that? Help this lady. I hope she's not falling under the anointing. Like a syringe, like giving yourself shots of injection, literal injection. I don't know what you are injecting. There are people who snuff this thing they use to fix tire of car. What is it called? Huh? Now, do you think any right thinking human being with his brain will go and bend down to snuff that thing? It's a spirit. Now, do you know why? This is a lesson to the body of Christ. Most of these people you see have at least one Christian near them. But this our obsession for condemnation is why people just keep quiet and suffer in silence. Nobody wants to be stigmatized and to be made. You think these people standing are wicked people? Some of them are more sincere and honest than most people you know. Until the body of Christ returns to the place of love, genuine love, we will keep losing our people to Satan. Let me tell you, all of you who are standing here, I want you to know that number one, I love you sincerely. And number two, you will be delivered now. Yeah. Hallelujah. Lift your right hand. Repeat this prayer after me loud. And at the end of it, I'm going to pray for you. Those standing anywhere at all. And then those outside, those maybe addictions following. Um, respectfully speaking, I know that many of our Western people who are connecting, please don't think because you are in America or Europe, a spirit is a spirit. Addiction is addiction. And you can open, Mama, you can stand in for your child. 
parents you can stand in for your loved ones say after me father have mercy on me say it again father have mercy on me say in the name of Jesus I declare as an act of my will that the spirit responsible for this addiction by my God given authority I choose life I choose freedom from that spirit therefore from tonight I declare my liberty in Jesus name get ready the power of God is coming on you right now at the count of three Satan you had your confession the Bible says for with the mouth confession is made unto salvation they have declared their liberty at the count of three every spirit responsible for any kind of addiction at the count of three go now one two three go 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 out of their destinies out of their destinies Parakatoshkadia. I break that addiction go forever in the name of Jesus Christ and every altar servicing that addiction in the name of Jesus I come against you now anything you cannot control has become a God over you be free now be free now now look at me just two instructions to help you for those of you who have listened to my teaching on the mystery of deliverance there are three stages to total deliverance and I'll be I'll be teaching you we'll soon get into the series number one is freedom from the spirit influence that is back of whatever issue of concern number two is called deliverance through transformation that means your mind has to be exposed to renewal and then number three is called the discipline of conformity you have a role to play say for instance if yours is drunkenness and then you still go back to the bar chances are excellent that when you see all your friends and colleagues and you see those bottles of beer sweating in the cold brought out of uh, uh, the freezer you will go back in, in, in that thing again can I tell you change your friends did you hear what I said Ch don't insult anybody but change your friends some of you you don't have one good friend one good friend a friend to a thief is what are we together so I beseech you by the mercies of God now that you have received this please be grounded in the house of God go to koinonia global you can get the teachings listen to them for your renewal this is not, this is a battle for your destiny number two you can on Tuesdays our prayer department meets at the DOA uh, you can whether you are a member of prayer band or not you can come even if it's just for two weeks and come and stretch with them and learn and allow the spirit of grace to help you in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone among you people standing here you are soon going back to your seat but there's somebody that God needs to deliver from anger you can use your physical hand and kill when you are angry it's not you it's a spirit it's about to leave you now don't worry you don't have to tell me you are the one if you are the one the anointing will look for you now huh anger like I'm not talking of just this rage you literally can hold a human being and until that person dies you will not leave him it's not normal remember what I taught you right now every wicked spirit male or female I don't care what every spirit of anger can I tell you look at this look at this listen do you know when people come to me for counseling or they are ready to get married before I start asking them any question 
the first thing is proper deliverance from these things when you marry somebody you are marrying everything they came with the assignment of a man of God is to help you edit those wicked things before you get into your home that's why you see men who can get angry and tear their wives into pieces and say sorry and do it again or you can see a woman who will carry hot water from the from the pot and put and spray it on her husband and say sorry and do it again in the name of Jesus the spirit of anger not just for those who are out here but for everyone here if there is anyone who is a victim of the spirit of anger right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead be delivered now in the name of Jesus now please let's be patient and appreciate them as they quickly return to their seats please let there be huh? the person injecting himself who is that this lady oh my god let the rest go let she can stay please stay darling I'll pray with you right now eh? the devil is a liar in the name of Jesus Christ those under the anointing can stay please the rest if you are moving please move quickly we are still we're about to pray for the sick now is someone seeing what God is doing in this place this night Your name is to be alone. Where are you from, my dear? From Edo State. You are from Edo State? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. You believe that Jesus can set you free? Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands towards you. Whatever spirit makes you to inject yourself, as painful as injection is, so you can see. It has to be a spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, please look at me, don't feel bad. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I command now that spirit and that influence, it leaves you forever. Yeah. Is someone agreeing with me over this lady? You see, the secret, hold on please, and, and we teach this in, in the school of ministry, one of the secrets of ministering effectively is to put yourself in the shoes of people. It's called compassion. Compassion fuels the anointing. If you, are, if you, are, if, if you imagine that this is your sister or your daughter or your wife or your relative, then compassion will well up within you. For as long as you think this is some stranger somewhere, she's from a do state and I am here from another place, you will not be able to help people that way. In the name of Jesus, as the house of God, we declare you free. Yeah. As the house of God, we declare you delivered. Yeah. We will never lose you to Satan. Yeah. The Lord is showing you mercy. Yeah. In Jesus' name I pray. Yeah. Amen and amen. Let's pray for the sick now. Let's pray for the sick. Please look up. Why is the healing ministry important? Let me teach you something very quickly and then we'll pray for the sick. Why is the healing ministry important? I will tell you why. Because every man is spirit. Please look up. Man is spirit and every spirit resides legally if it is to function in the earth here it resides in a body are we together and for as long as you have a body you have the legitimate ground the authorization to function within the earth whatever deteriorates your body to a point where it no longer becomes functional is administering death to you because there is a threshold level of health that your body must have for your spirit to be able to safely reside within it. Are we together now? The assignment of Satan is to ultimately lead you to that point of separation by deteriorating your health condition. It can come in any form. So when your health is deteriorated beyond a certain threshold, what happens to you? Satan now ensures that your body is separated from your spirit. So every time we minister healing, it is a way of preserving your life. 
so that you will have that body to be able to serve the purposes of God. He says, a body has thou prepared for me. Are we together? Except through understanding, as you age and as time passes because of the wear and tear of this body, naturally medical people begin to tell us that you will begin to see certain things and i have found out that about the most common of these things for men prostrates high blood pressure uh, what do we call it again paralysis and all these things um what do we call this sickness where your mind is not coordinated again you start forgetting things and all of that you see that now and then of course women it comes as all kinds of things but I want you to make up your mind. I know there are doctors here. I respect you and I respect whatever it is that you have studied. I want you to believe that the word of God becomes the definition for your life. For as long as you start believing some of these things, they subliminally start programming you. I am 50 now. I expect enlarged prostrate. And the devil says, you are, thank you for welcoming it. And you receive it by faith. Are we together? You have a right to reject anything at all that is not of God. Reject it. And stand with faith and in faith. Why am I saying this? So that when we are praying for the sick, you don't say, since my own condition does not necessitate admission in the hospital, I am fine. Remember what I taught you about the devil? The moment he tests you and you allow him unrestrained, he will move further to bring another version of that thing. So right now that I want to pray for the sick, please, I want you to release your faith that anything that does not represent God's design for you as revealed in Scripture, it is time for it to leave. Is someone in agreement? Please rise up on your feet. While that is happening, how many of you have your prayer requests here? All the overflows to the basement outside, those following online now we'll do two things at the same time number one is our ushers will be collecting the prayer request now what I want you to do please still write if there are things you need to write I'll give you one minute very quickly you want to add something your faith has been enlarged and you still want to add one or two things write it down quickly and then pass it may I request that you pass it to someone maybe by your left and right let there be one person who has nobody will read your request just pass it for ease ushers please you can begin to walk around very quickly so that we'll collect it if you're still writing just take a minute or two and write believing the Lord to step in for you you heard what the Lord did in the life of our dear one who testified writing something in the prayer request unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come very quickly very quickly medical reports terminal situations unfavorable conditions for you your children parents spouse company business church the Bible says be anxious for nothing but in everything so there is nothing that should be left out of the scope of prayer in everything by prayer and supplication with Thanksgiving it says let your request be made known unto God let your request be made known unto God. Be anxious for nothing. Philippians chapter 4, we start reading from verse 6. You'll find that, and it says, And the peace of God will garrison your heart and your mind. Very quickly. Now, I want to pray for the sick. Listen, I have seen the healing power of Jesus. I was so touched by the testimony of our dear sister. Look, the miracle that Jesus did for her husband literally from the dead and then correction brand new organs the mighty God is able to do this I want to pray for you now hallelujah
Now please lay your hands. Why do I ask you to lay your hands as a point of contact? It's a way of releasing your faith. Before God stepped in, we're talking about the three components that must be present to create an atmosphere of the supernatural. One is passion for God and complete surrender. Number two, we agreed that the second key that I wrote here is deep, heartfelt worship. Number three is faith. Now you are about to exercise your faith. I hope you know that faith is simply obedience. Obedience to the word of God, obedience to the demands that commit God to your life. Without action, you are not walking by faith. It's as simple as that. Faith is more than confession. Faith is more than believing. Faith is your action. Now here's what I want you to do. We are not going to take too much time. The moment I begin to pray for you, others, as you fell under the power of God, miracles began to happen to you, all kinds of supernatural um, corrections. Do you know why we ask people to come out when they are healed? It's not just to show that the man of God is powerful. No. You see, it, it, with all humility, at, at this point in ministry, there is nothing to prove again. God has honored himself beyond contention. But the goal is, in coming out to testify, three things happen. Number one, you help the people to see the power of God on display truthfully. Number two, it acts as a seal to what you have done. Are we together? The Bible says we overcame them by the blood of the Lamb and by the word. Yes. The word of your testimony is part of the weapons of your overcoming. So I'm going to pray for you right now. All the overflows outside following all our viewers across the globe. As I pray for you right now, immediately I want you to begin to send in your testimonies for those of you who are out, outside of uh, the local environment. And for those who are here, the moment I ask you to come out, to come and testify, do not be afraid, do not be ashamed. I want you to come out, we'll take a few testimonies, then we'll pray over re the requests and I prophesy into your life. Are you ready now? Please lay your hands and begin to pray one minute. Jesus, step in for me with your mercy over whatever condition it is. Mention it. Please pray. Don't tolerate anything that does not look like Jesus. I'm beginning to lose hearing. Don't tolerate it. I'm suffering the issue of blood. Don't tolerate it. I'm beginning to have whatever symptoms. Don't tolerate it. It looks like I'm having heart palpitations, breathing problems. Don't tolerate it. Lumps all over my body. Don't tolerate it. Talk to Jesus. Jesus, step in. Step in over my life. Step in over my destiny. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In one of the visions that I had, as God began to release me into the ministry, I saw I was in a place and it was like the hospitals were closed. It was like a curfew. But then there were people lying down, some sick, some lifeless, you know, just littered across an open space. And I was outside and I saw them. I felt very, very terrible and irritated by their conditions. And they were looking up to me and it was in the night and it looked like these people were hoping that I would do something and I heard a voice that voice spoke to me and he said to heal them and that is why what opened me up to the healing ministry I really believe in the power of Jesus to heal I believe I believe he heals he heals he healed yesterday He's healing now and he will heal forever. The healing ministry is one of the cardinal components that puts the power of God on display. Are you ready now? Let's pray. The saints and the angels bow the redeemed worship you now 
saints and the angels bow the redeemed worship you now holy holy Jesus something is happening here I'll sing it one more time the saints and the angels bow the redeemed worship you now Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. I was given an example about this enlarged prostrate, but it's not just an example. The Spirit of God is ministering to me that He's healing someone of that condition right now. It's beginning to happen to you. This thing happened from when you were around 55. It started all of the symptoms that show an enlarged prostrate in the name of Jesus be healed now I stretch my hands and I decree and declare everyone here who has any blood condition you've seen Jesus change genotypes here you've seen Jesus remove all kinds of things from your blood every stranger in your blood that should not be there. In the name of Jesus, I flush them out now. I flush them out now. Be healed right now. Migraine headaches, the Lord is healing migraines. Very severe migraine, be healed now. Every damaged organ in your body, we declare a brand new organ now. The pelvic area for someone, you've had severe, severe pain. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is bringing you life and healing right now. Please believe it, you are receiving something right now. In the name of Jesus Christ eye conditions for one of you you are just beginning to see it symptoms of, of of a very severe eye problem and for others it's been there for a while it does not matter how long I command eyes be open now honestly I'm sensing a very very strong anointing there's someone your chest your chest that demonic thing around your chest I declare be released from it now this is this is not like you have fever but many times your tongue just tastes bitter very very bitter for reasons you do not know and the moment that thing happens it comes with ill health it looks like a, a severe case of typhoid but you've treated it is returned you've treated it is returned is a demonic thing right now I stretch my hands be healed in the name of Jesus Christ every blood condition I'm repeating it again HIV in the name of Jesus be healed now Hepatitis be healed now. Sugar diabetes be healed now. Severe waist pain. The Lord is healing severe waist pain. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone, I don't know what it is, at this side of your neck. As soon as I'm done praying, I want you to check yourself. You will see that a miracle has happened right now. Let that demonic growth leave you now. Amen. There is someone, you are not in the main auditorium, but you are losing your teeth. I've prayed over this kind of condition before. Something is happening and it's like your, your teeth, your gums or whatever is weakening. And a few have been pulled out already and I'm seeing that more of it is, is like it's weak. The power of God right now is bringing you healing and restoration. Amen. Now, anyone who is on crutches, anyone who is using an aid to walk, 
I declare life and strength to your limbs now. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Every deafness, partial deafness, total deafness, I command that ear to be open now. Someone, there is like a growth in your truth, but it's inside. It's not like thyroid, but I don't know what it is. It looks like, it, it, it looks to me from what I'm seeing, like it's a boil, but it's inside you with severe pain. Not, it, it looks like tonsillitis, but it's not tonsillitis. Wherever you are right now, as I'm praying, the power of God is resting upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every joint pain, hear the word of the Lord, I declare be healed now. Now every other situation, whether I mentioned it or not, in the name of Jesus Christ, I am praying for you. Inside, outside, everywhere, I bring you life and healing in Jesus' name. Life and healing in Jesus' name. Life and healing in Jesus' name. I want you to check yourself right now, everywhere. Check yourself, I want us to celebrate miracles for a few minutes. Check yourself, the moment you find out that something has happened to you now, or as at the time I was praying, my God, I'm seeing people coming out. Celebrate them very quickly. You find out that a miracle has happened. Please, I want you to be bold. Walk to the front right now and there will be people here to receive you. Let's take a few testimonies. Please, very quickly. Koinonia, is this what you are doing? Is this the best you can do? Check yourself very quickly. Miracles are happening right now. Do what you couldn't do before. Stretch, stand, walk. Let someone speak over you. Are you seeing what Jesus is doing here? I believe Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. You're the Son of God. Lord, I believe. I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. You're the Son of God. One more time. We believe, say. Jesus is bringing miracles. We believe you're the Son of God. Hallelujah. Are we ready? Yes, sir. God bless you. All right. Please listen very carefully to these testimonies. Hallelujah. Whilst you are listening, the power of God is also touching you. And those of you who have received miracles from across the globe, do well to send in your testimonies immediately. We'll have a few testimonies and then you'll be done. Now, very quickly, go ahead. So, Apostle, this sister here has had migraine for like five years. Migraine. And what happened to you now? Praise the Lord. I, I came with a very severe headache, which is, I'm very used to it. So I came and I was like, maybe it has started again. I went to the restroom to watch my eyes because of, yes. I had eye and my And brain. what happened now? I went to collect my stomach. But when, during the service, I felt a cold sensation in my body. Yes. And everything has Completely gone. gone. It never returns to you again. In the name of Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. So sir, interestingly, you mentioned the case of yes, my sir. brother. Yes, particularly sir. Particularly for this lady when you were praying for her and she has an amazing testimony to share with Go her. ahead. Yes, please. Praise God. When Papa was praying for a woman that had a fibroid and I was down there, I fell onto the anointing and later I, I was checking myself since then. And I, there is a swollen here before. but Oh, there, there was a swelling. Yes. You could feel it yes. right now. No. Check it. I, 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 I tried check. I was trying to press my stomach to see if I can see that soul. I it's, gone. it's gone. Are you are you celebrating Jesus? Look at this. Came with, with an evident swelling, and now it's gone completely. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. So for the past three, four days now, I've been having serious pain inside my throat. Okay. I can't, whenever I'm swearing any saliva, saliva, I feel serious pain. 
So I had to visit the pharmacist. They gave me this thing to be taken yes. from time to time. And I have a tablet too. But immediately you just called that. I felt this as if something, something melted. Just... And I swallowed saliva. I want to swallow saliva. I had to take one of these, put it in my mouth before I could feel it. And right now, I feel better. in the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Apostle, you gave word of knowledge of those with high defect. Hers is astigmatism. She couldn't look at bright light, but now she could look at light. My, you couldn't look at bright light? For how long? Um, it's two years now. Uh-huh. Yes, and right now, I can you can look at this light, yes, and it has no effect on you. My goodness. Are you celebrating Jesus? <laughs> Complete healing for you right now. Yes, please. Very quickly. Severe back pain for the past one year. You couldn't bend down, but now you could bend down, bend my down friend. comfortably and Bend down. Any pain. Any pain. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. You gave word of knowledge of those with severe chest pain. Our mommy has had it for about some years now, but now, Mama, how four long, years How now. long has it been? Like four years. Four years. Yes, sometimes it blocks. Uh, it's like there's something there. So sometimes when I'm eating, it sort of chokes. And what happened to you now? I can't feel that. Completely. Pain. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Any pain. Let's celebrate Jesus for what he's doing in the life of our mother. It will never return to you again in the name of Jesus. Yes, Pastor Jakes. Yes, go ahead, sir. So, Apostle, sorry, medical thing. We're actually verifying an interesting okay. testimony here. Wow. Please come. So she had, she suffered a stroke. A stroke? Yes, sir. And amazingly, God touched her. What As happened, my dear? What's your name? And Good evening, sir. My name is A.B. Whilst the woman was giving the testimony about her husband who had Are suffered this, this can, stroke. Can you amplify the volume, technical, I, help us with the volume? I um, said to myself, I said, her own is more than mine. That means I can get my healing. And whilst I was sitting there, I started moving my legs. It, it How was, did you come here? I, I could move, but I always felt the okay. small, small yes. thing. And then on my lips as well, it's, it's numb. It was numb. Your and lips? Then, yes. And then whilst you were praying, my head, if I held my head like this and shake it, it would ache like it was very heavy. But as you prayed, there was a cold sensation. And even as I was doing this. My dear, look at me. Look, she's even surprised. Walk. Walk as fast as you can. Creator of the universe. What can you do? What can you do? Jesus. Can you imagine? The devil would have just destroyed the life of this lady. My dear, she's surprised. Look at this. Look at me. In the name of Jesus, we agree with you. That devil goes now. Never to return. In the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. All right, sir. So, Apostle, again, Mama here has been experiencing severe pain. Started from her finger. Then it actually moved into other locations. Are you seeing what God is doing now? Yes. Mama, what happened to you? I told God today to give me a first time miracle. Even here. Yeah, I took paracetamol here today while sitting when I came since. You took morning. paracetamol here? Yes, sir. Yes. And now I'm not feeling any. Check okay. yourself. Check yourself. Look at this. Look at this. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord will honor you and perfect everything that concerns you. In Jesus' name I pray. Are you ready? Go ahead. Oh my God. Look it's at this. There's a mighty miracle here. Look she, at this. She was supported. She couldn't walk. She was supported to come here. My dear, But the power look at of God me. talked out since last year. Oh, uh, look, look how the lady is. My dear, look at me. Look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke that spirit. I lose you right now. Let her try. Look at me. She was headed here. She couldn't walk. She couldn't walk? Yes. Walk. Walk. Apostle, this is our mother. Oh, this is her mother? Yes, sir. Mama, what is... Are you her mother? She, yes, this was the site for uh, uh, National Hospital on Friday. 
What happened to her? Just like that, he fed her. Does this thing look just like that? Every power masquerading as circumstances to plague your life. In the name of Jesus, I curse it now. Look at how the devil wants to destroy the destiny of this precious lady. Just like that? No. Stretch your hands towards her as the house of God in one minute. Let's declare perfection over this miracle. Lord, this that you have begun. This lady will not die. This lady will not die. This lady will not die. In the name of Jesus, whatever is wrong, we bring correction and perfection. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. Very quickly. There are two cases of swollen hands. She said last year, since she gave birth, her hand got swollen. And Let me hear her. What happened to you? Straight to the point, madam. Okay, Apostle, I gave birth last year, December 13th. So my hand began to swell up gradually. And then... Your hand? Yes. This place precisely. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Begin to swell up. And then I could not move it very well. And then if I move, I have this severe... Pain. And right now? And right now, I receive... Move it. Look at this. Since she gave birth, she could not move her hand. My dear, in the name of Jesus, you are healed and you are perfected by the power of the Holy Spirit. Affliction will not rise a second time. In Jesus' name. You see, another case of swollen hand to heal by the power of God. What happened to you? I came back from work on Friday. Nothing happened to my hand. My hand started paining me. I could not sleep in the night. Yes, this night too, I could not sleep. But immediately I stepped down here. I could bring down my hand. I could use it to stretch myself. Raise it dance. up. Bring it down. Raise it up. Any pain? You are perfected right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, yes, sir. So, Apostle, God has touched another mama. Oh, dear. <laughs> All right, so mama came in from Joss, and she actually said she actually came in, she was taking some drugs, and I think I'll. What happened to, to you, ma? I had uh, pains, waist pain, and then uh, abdominal pains. When you were praying, I was having severe pains. I even took my drug when I was inside my car coming from Joss. But when you were praying, after the prayers... It's gone now. It's Check gone. yourself. Any pain? Any Completely. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen and amen. Who is ready? Yes. So we, we have this brother that had pain. I have abdominal pain. It has been long. It come up and stop. But when you are praying for someone that has abdominal pain, so I get in and hold my hand on my stomach. But and right now, it's gone. gone. Yes. It will never return to you again Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Apostle, you gave word of knowledge of those with prostrate enlargement. Now, the power of God is breaking out here to the Father in the go. Prostrate. So, the prostrate. difficulty in the urination. So, immediately you prayed that prayer, he called his brother and he asked the brother, the Father, to go and ease himself. And now the Father is jumping, healed, but Jumping powerfully. Where? Here. Where is that? In Enugu. Enugu State. In Enugu State, yes. My yes. goodness. I, sent, I brought all their prayer requests and I submitted it just now. But while they were praying, after the prayer, I called my, my mom and I told my dad to try and ease himself. And he told me he's feeling ease. And just now, my brother just called and told me that he's jumping up. He's been healed. Enugu State. In the name of Jesus, let there be a supernatural miracle. Perfection. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Let's see if we can take two more or three more and then we'll just pray. I'm, I'm really interested in this prayer request. Yes. You gave all of knowledge of cases of ulcer. He ulcer. has had it for two years now. The power of God came upon him. The pain disappeared. So he went to the medical personnel to check it and now the ulcer symptoms are gone. In the name of Jesus, place your hand on your chest. I decree and declare right now, let there be perfection for you. It will never return in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Yes, sir. So, Apostle, a very interesting miracle here. Um, so, let's hear you first. Sir, he's lived with migraine headaches for seven years. He got used to it. I May you never get used to wicked and evil and difficult things Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I've yes. been passing through this headache for more than seven years. My, I call it my normal sickness. Like yesterday, I, I live my life like that. 
headache is normal to me. But I was here sitting down, I was feeling it small. So I didn't feel it again. And also in my jazz tree, I fell down from a tree. Hit my waist and You chest. fell down from a tree? Yes, sir. And I can't like bend down. Throughout last year, I couldn't do any serious Bend sport. down now. If I should bend down for like five minutes, I'll start shivering. Bend so down I, now. I try to bend down and I still feel myself okay. There is nothing. Oh my God. And just when I was having difficulty, at times my breath will start like it will cease. I complain to my parents, like, at times my breath will, will just stop. And, and right now you are healed. Life. Amen. I declare perfection for you in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, uh, Apostle, let's see. Apostle, in summary, you migraine, back pain, head pain, all of them healed by the power of the Most High. Okay. Now, let, let me just stretch my hands. Do you know, I love seeing elderly people healed. They deserve peace in their life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, perfection for you. In Jesus' name. We'll take so one or two more we here. need to hear this. Yes, sir. Please come. So you gave an accurate word of knowledge regarding a lady with, you know, feeling bitter taste in her yes. tongue. Yes. Absolutely. Who is that? Amazing. Okay. Um, whenever I got a new job, I usually feel bitter, man. Um, whenever? All, I got a job. Okay. I'll feel bitter mouth and all of a sudden I'll feel sick and I'll lose the job. And it happened to me this week. You see and what we are saying? very demonic situation this is not an issue of sickness what happened to you now um, I'm completely. No completely everything you have lost let there be a restoration for you in the name of Jesus Christ let there be a restoration for you in Jesus name I pray amen and amen so apostle here several cases of migraine and you know healings in the truth migraine I'm seeing the doctor is dragging one lady here. It's like she wants us to hear her testimony. Oh, glory to Jesus. I was blind, but now I'm healed. Straight to the I point. I am healed. I, I could not use these eyes, these eyes, to see anybody from far. It's Which like one? This one. How long? It's due to diabetes for the past three years. But it happened like a year now. I can't oh. read. I can't see anybody. Yes. But today, I could see you from the screen, from where I sat down. I can close my eyes and I can close, identify Close the one that was walking. Yes, this is one that is walking. And I could read from what, this, this. Don't time. worry. What can you see? I can see four. Hallelujah! Five! Your complete hands. I can see. I can only see. What can you see? Two fingers. Thank you, Jesus. What can you see now? I can see three, four, Look five. Thank you, Jesus. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Can I tell you, losing your eyes is not a good thing. Believe me, believe me, losing your eye is not a good thing. There were miracles that Jesus would heal one and leave the rest, but not blindness. When he saw blindness, he insisted that their eyes were open. In the name of Jesus, we agree with you as the house of God. Thank you, Jesus. Perfection for you. You go back and you live a normal life with joy. This is what you get for coming to the house of God. In Jesus' name. And diabetes, by the way, you said it. We, 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 we curse that spirit right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you, Jesus. Amen and amen. Uh, for the sake of time, we may not be able to take all one by one, but can I agree with you? For all of you who have received miracles in the name of Jesus, it remains permanent with you. And I decree and declare there will be no resurgence of those illnesses and those issues of concern. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. Thank you very much. Please rise up on your feet and stretch your hands here. All the overflows, just stretch your hands. We are praying right now. I want you to stretch your hands and begin to declare our global family. I'm praying over the request now. I believe in the ministry of prayer and prophetic intercession. 
when we pray like this it is because we believe in the God that can hear and can act unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come I want you to stretch your hands and begin to declare that in the name of Jesus I receive answers by faith I receive answers by faith to everything that I've written here for those of you who came in um, and, and brought requests for your loved ones go ahead and, and release your faith in the name of Jesus Christ are you praying all the overflows you are praying now Lord step in do the impossible do the impossible remember the last component faith release your faith God is doing miracles right now Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For as long as I live, I will never stop interceding over the desires of God's people because I know that we serve a God who answers prayers. Are we together? I want you to believe in every declaration that we'll be making here. It is not, we're not acting. This is not just some show. Believe me, you will get answers to this request. Yeah. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over these requests and I declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead that these Egyptians you see today, may you see them no more forever. May you see them no more forever. May you see them no more forever. Every spirit that is back of these tragedies, we declare, let judgment come upon them now. In the name of... Mike, that is working. Praise the Lord. Okay, thank you. For those of you who have put timing, timing to your requests, in the name of Jesus, it will not delay by a day. Let me repeat it again. If you have put timing on your request, I prophesy to you, it will not delay by one day. Whoever has vowed that this request will not be answered, in the name of Jesus, we overturn. We overturn. We overturn. We overturn. We overturn. And we give you what is rightfully yours. Every system and every structure that needs to come under the influence of the Spirit for this request to be answered, we put pressure on them now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I stand upon this prophetically and I decree and declare. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never be an issue of concern for you again. 
the Lord gave us an instruction to come with any point of contact lift it up now if you came with any point of contact your credentials your whatever it is now this is not ritual we are doing this based on the understanding that we are bringing a token a point of contact whatever you can lift your hands if there's nothing in your home whatever anything that is a point of contact please believe believe in prophetic instructions do the impossible do the impossible do the impossible I stretch my hands over these points of contact whether it is your credentials whether it is your employment letter whether it is your your business whatever whether it is a court case whether it is a summon from the court whether it is a real estate project a project with institutions systems and structures whether it is papers for your ministry papers for travels in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God prophetically I lay my hands on every one of these contacts and I declare I command them to bring back joyful testimonies for you I command them to bring back joyful testimonies for you the Bible says for everyone that asketh receive to him that seeketh he shall find and to him that knocketh, the door shall be opened. Every closed door over these things lifted. I stand by the power of the prophetic and I command those doors to be opened now. <laughs> Hear me. For some of you, after this service, they will call you. And by that call, you will know you have stepped into a new season. everyone lifting your credentials by faith trusting God for a job in the name of Jesus Christ we shift every space that needs to be shifted and we create space for you for all those who are holding legal documents in the name of Jesus if there be anything against you we plead mercy and if anyone is lifting a medical report or anything of that sort in the name of Jesus Christ for you or for whoever you are standing in for let there be a testimony now I declare those documents anointed I declare them graced may they produce results for you in Jesus name I pray now please listen listen I, it just it just occurred to me I don't know why I didn't say it the whole of the month of March we are going to be dealing with the subject of deliverance demonology and spiritual warfare listen I told you that I want to teach you this I want to settle down please open your spirit by the grace of God God is going to be opening our eyes there is a lot of ignorance in the body of Christ as to the operation of demons, foundations, yokes, destinies, the mystery of the blood, how to command and walk in perpetual victory. The time has come. So the entire month of March, we're going to be dealing with this extensively. Let your heart be open, our global family. Be sure to, God is going to be giving us explanations and he will be making sense out of the things around our lives in the name of Jesus Christ but for now let me speak over your destiny favor let it begin to speak for you honor let it begin to speak for you speed let it begin to speak for you may every closed door be opened now let every disappointment be turned to your testimony in the name of Jesus May the hearts of your destiny help us be open for your sake. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. I pray over your hands. The spirit of poverty, of lack and of shame, of not enough. I come by the power of prophecy and I declare shift to the realm of abundance. By the spirit of grace. 
in the name of Jesus Christ as you travel I decree and declare you heard the gentleman who said or, or is it the lady from the airport enter the cab and someone just drove with them into the forest can I tell you if it will be for your kidnap you will not enter that car if that plane will crash you will not be inside but if you are inside may it never crash in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you and I pray for your loved ones anyone who has been marked to be a victim of kidnapping a victim of whatever demonic thing we send angels ahead to stand before them in the mighty name of Jesus and based on the revelation that God showed here we pray for our judicial system in this nation that everything that is a conspiracy that is not of God that wants to crumble the judicial system we plead the blood in the name of Jesus may the Lord show mercy over our judicial system in the name of Jesus everyone in business here receive the grace for excellence everyone in ministry here go and be a sign and a wonder for all those who have traveled from out of this nation you have come this anointing you have received as you return back it will be evident in your life in the name of Jesus Christ I'm going to sing you need Jesus as I begin to sing please make your way to the front dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.